Hi there. My name is Julian Hyde. Um, so, yeah, I'm here to talk about uh, Apache Calcite um, and how it can be a query optimizer or planner for a wide variety of problems. So, uh, about 10 years ago, Mike Stonebreaker said one size fits all is an idea whose time has come and gone. And what, what he meant was uh, there's no such thing as a general purpose uh, system anymore. Uh, we need some specialized systems with specialized storage. Um, and he kind of predicted this Cambrian explosion of, of data systems, you know, the NoSQL systems and Hadoop and so forth that occurred uh, at, th at that time. Um, around the same time, uh, you know, people started talking about big data and Hadoop and MapReduce and so forth. Um, and uh, this was, you know, the time, around that time, open source uh, data systems, uh, you know, really became important. Um, and so there's a couple of effects of that. First, um, they put a lot of these technologies, in particular, massively parallel data systems into a lot of, you know, into everyone's hands. But I think more important, they, they kind of started this, this process where the DBMS started to become deconstructed. Um, rather than thinking of the, the, the whole system, uh, you start looking at the parts um, and uh, you know you can start to separate the storage from the query optimizer, from the parser, um, and start kind of evolving the individual components um, rather than having to just accept uh, a, you know, a single uh, uh, data system. So um, I'm a big fan of mountain climbing. Um, and, uh, you know, it's a lot of fun, but it only gets to be fun once you get to the snow line where you get to put on your crampons and, and so forth. And there's a lot of boring stuff kind of getting up to where it's important, uh, get, getting up to where the interesting stuff starts and you need to carry a lot of gear up there and, you know, you, when you start mountain climbing, you have to get to that level. So we started thinking, you know, how can we, how can we make it possible to build a, a, da a database system or a data management system without having to do all that grunt work of defining user-defined functions and a parser and an optimizer and, and, and so forth. Um, so we kind of uh, st started off by looking at the conventional database where you've got parser, um, an algebra, uh, the re relational algebra, an optimizer and so forth. It owns its own data, it has its own algorithms for joining and so forth. Um, and it's all in, in one hermetically sealed box. So we kind of uh, deconstructed that into, um, uh, we stripped away the, the, the data, uh, the algorithms that process that data. Uh, we got rid of the catalog and we replaced it by an SPI so you can ask what tables exist and what schemas exist and so forth. Um, and uh, what we were left with was a parser which is actually optional and an algebra, uh, an implementation of the relational algebra. Um, and so that's what Apache Calcite is, is, is this relational algebra and stuff around it. So this is kind of how it, the basis of how it works, it translates a SQL statement into the relational algebra which is made up of filters, joins, and so forth, um, some basic logical operations. And then in order to optimize it, here's an example of just one, one rule. A, a rule is, a, is something that translates a, an algebra tree into another algebra. In this case, it's pushed a filter through a join, so you, basically there are fewer rows going into the join. Um, so the way it works is, if you, you know, one, one rule doesn't do very much, but if you plug together a whole bunch of rules, then you, you've got a query optimization process. Um, and what we're left with is something that can do not just, um, uh, not just query optimization, but it can, be the, the, it can be the basis for engines which talk to different kinds of storage, um, because each, each particular storage engine can, uh, can provide the algorithms it supports, but also the particular nature of its storage system, so how you can quickly find all, of, all of the records that match a particular predicate. Um, and you can put multiple uh, front ends onto the same algebra. Um, and we've also formed a community so that rather than everyone having to build an optimizer from scratch, you're basically building on work that's been done by lots of other <coughs> engines. And you're, and you're using uh, a suite of optimizer rules which have already been very well, very well tested. So that's all I have now. Come to the post session, find out more. Uh, we're, an, we're a community inside Apache, so... Um, uh, 
you know, join us, join us online and we welcome contributions and uh, just participation on our lists. Thank you very much.